There are two times I've seen Luke have like a full body reaction to something <laughs> being said. The first time was Fox Meadows being brought up. <laughs> <laughs> the second time was Best Pineapple Pizza. pizza. some uh, special stuff. We've got a couple of uh, not ordinary things. I don't know. Unordinary. Uh, they're, they're special, I guess. I don't know. They're, they're, they're out of the ordinary. There we go. Yes. That's the word I was looking for. Unique. Way. And we're going to start it off with one out of the ordinary thing that we're doing, especially for episode 100. We've had some pretty good episode titles I'd say. Over the years. Over the uh, they're years. They're often very random and hilarious if you're just seeing them without actually listening to the episode because they're so out of yeah. context. Uh, originally, they were kind of boring, but they got better Much. as they went. And so we have 100 episode titles worth of words here, and uh, Parker is going to sing a parody of a song, but the lyrics will just be the episode titles. Mm -hmm. so, it's going to be the great greatest song ever yes wow okay not setting expectations <laughs> too high at all here we go are you ready yes maybe no okay. all right this is gonna get copyrighted it's fine probably Episode 1, hockey has a game 7, NBA draft, USA, NBA, free agency recap, making money and watching Wimbledon, part 1, part 2, NFL, predictions, fantasy football, Bill Walton is a legend, Andrew Luck retired, the Antonio Brown saga, Christian Yelich's kneecap, <laughs> Antonio Brown saga, get the Jones era begins. That's run, a junior run, That's Eastern true. Conference preview, Brady or Belichick, Parker stages to come back, managing load management, uh -huh. Thursday night flight, best NFL weekend, why is wife carrying a sport, best episode ever, famous people named Bill, unfiltered year right? in review, uh, a wild NFL wild card round, I love peanut butter, is Parker more mature yeah. than OBJ? You should play soccer, not episode 32. <laughs> Super Bowl picks, XFL debut. Yeah. Yeah. Dunk causes yeah. controversy, yeah. do not call NASCAR fans this. Luke and Joe Burrow, Spike Lee versus the Knicks. Podcast that not canceled. La, 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 la. NFL free agency was amazing. The Tom Brady episode, greatest upset ever. The, our best interview ever. Draft dialect, draft recap, still good, even though it's short. Dan Kurtz. I, I, and the KVO that hunt 1964 Phillies Parker in slow motion Luke sneaker fiasco one year old Parker's face hurt from laughing a right turkey cheese ratio Luke still can't get his shoes cleaving claps cabbage leaves the lions will stomp on your flesh and eat you Already <laughs> okay sir the Bill Belichick sandwich feedback makes the dream work Kansas City Steelers bingo bango bongo Chadwick and the jockey <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that oh got us halfway God. through. <laughs> that was good for That God. was really oh, good. good. Oh my God. I say what do you we, want your second I say song we to play be? that again we, for we, the second half. Do you want a second song, Parker? Well, I want to run that one back. We can just run we it back. We get to episode 63. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Parker, do you want a different song? Was that song? good enough? Let's was go. that good enough? Oh, I that was good. That was, I liked that. Oh, man. Let's, Let's start back, back at 52. Let's get some water if you need to. Okay. Yeah. We, we, that was great. Let's start back at 52, because then it'll time out yeah. right for you to get all of them. Okay. Yeah. All right. That was really good. All right. Part two. <laughs> Episode 52 is where we're starting. Had some great titles in the second half of these. Are the second year. Way we better. We said, we said better things. We did. We did. Yeah. So it's better titles. Better Here we go. Year two. Parker's face hurt from laughing. The right turkey, the cheese ratio. Luke still can't get his shoes. Cleveland Cavs, cabbage leaves. The lines will stomp on your flesh and eat you. Tom Brady, aka Sir Bill Belichick, sandwich feedback makes the dream work. Kansas City Steelers, bingo, bango, bongo, go. Chadwick and Jackie, football is coming and we are coming for ESPN. Luke and LeBron are BFFs. 
We are sad Eagles fans flying magic birds. Jays versus Rays is fun to say. Tom Brady can't count the generic baseball look. They won by a needle in a haystack. Renovation, exploration, percolation. Jerry Jones is old and sad. Luke Texan hunts. We love Daryl Morey. Famous people in elevators. Poker Parker, Luke Bagels, Jalen Hurts. Luke destroys a child's Christmas gift. Bettering ourselves in 2021 by improving our weaknesses <laughs> to become well rounded. Brown Steelers bet Toledo Mudheads mascot expert Nyla Jean Myers MVP still alive. Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl again. Came and went. Adam Godwin and Carson Wentz. Songs away, people get lit too. Marvin McNutt was not good. Goats don't exist. Big bucks, Bella check. Parker talks to the SATs. UCLA and Bacon also still alive. Parker is bizarrely wise. Strategy and therapy. Which came first, the good or the egg? Lucas Tom Brady of Marvel fans! Yeah, let's yeah, go! Let's yeah, so good. Yes! I did it! Wow! That oh. was amazing. My throat almost that ran was out of breath. so great. Your throat <laughs> ran out of breath? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, and that is 99 wow. episodes, guys. That is a lot of episodes. Woo. That was it clean. Is. The 52, that was good. 52 through 99, that was clean. Wow. That was you had better clean. names to work with. It was your second time through the song. It was. Oh. I'm a little lightheaded right now. That oh, was, my word. That, Gave me chills, Parker. That was fantastic. I'm, I told you it was going to be the best song ever. Oh, man. That oh, was, I'm so, I am fired up, man. Uh, who knew that singing could get you sweaty? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not you, Parker. Not you. Oh, man. Hey, Parker? Yeah. Hey, Parker. Your car is running. The radio's on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're leading with oh, that. Oh, my gosh. We are leading with that. I think is it recording? Yes. So we got your dad saying that. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's start there. This is episode 100, everybody. Oh, if you if what you, a way to start. <laughs> Parker is not here because he's turning off this car. Oh. We've been here for what, maybe a half hour now. Uh, roughly, yeah. yeah roughly a half sure. hour. We'll say a half hour. And Parker's Prepping car and has been running. The entire time. Oh my word. Parker. Wow. I hope they could hear the audio of my dad. Oh, they definitely say. could. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Uh, what a way to start. 100. Wow. Episode 100 is let off oh, by my Parker word. again. <laughs> yeah. oh, we are yeah. coming in hot. Oh, this oh, is going to be a great episode. Wow. Parker, what do you have to say for yourself? I, I have no words. I'm sorry. Um, I let I let you down. Battery. I mean, you let yourself. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're the one that's gonna have to pay for the new battery over here, <laughs> and the half a gallon of gas that just was. And wasted. now with gas prices like skyrocketing, yeah, you just killed your miles per gallon, <laughs> oh, making the no. engine run. And now you wow. have to buy more gas, and gas is like four dollars a gallon. Yep. And wow. gas is way too expensive. Yeah. Well, well, that just got really sad. <laughs> this is our hundredth episode, almost two years. That'll be episode one hundred and four. Man, we've we made got it far triple digits. Yeah, it's we're crazy. no longer going to be na able to name episodes after athletes. Yeah, what I say like the athletes. Athletes. athletes, athletes. Yeah, we because can't do the numbers. That, this that, is nobody this wears. is the Parker Luke and Owen episode. Because yeah. combine our numbers and it equals a hundred. That's not true. Nope. But when well, we actually, started wonder, this, that'd be crazy if it did. Let's see. No, there's no possible way. Parker is your number Parker. 39. Parker's 32, you're 41. Yeah. And I'm 70. Wait. I would have to be I'll be 27 to make it work. <laughs> Owen's 27. Sure. Mic drop. Um when we started this, Parker was 15 and I was 14. Wow. Which is crazy. Luke what? was also so 14. 14. Luke joined us for the first time on episode seven because we interviewed him about his concussion where he had been knocked uh, out. That was a long time ago. Actually, um, I, no. You you're, you always confuse this. The concussion, I did not get knocked out. If I did, I probably would have drowned. I was oh, yeah, four. you got knocked out, but you didn't get a concussion. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> if I, Luke if went I, to sleep. When, <laughs> Luke went to sleep. When, when I got a concussion, if I would have gotten knocked yes. out, I may not be sitting here today. Stop taking these on dark turns, man. It's the hundredth episode. No, because I was. I, you gotta, I, you gotta play that why? back when you're on. I literally just nodded. 
I was. I didn't. I hit my head on the bottom of a pool, and that's how I got a concussion. So. And then you got hit in the head with a weighted bat and yeah, didn't get a concussion, exactly. but you did have to get stitches. The worst part about a concussion is I got it, and my head was in a lot of pain, but it, <laughs> like I didn't really think anything of it, so I swam for another two hours that night. What? And I was in a lot of pain and kind of dizzy. Your skull. <laughs> but then at the same impressive. time, I'm like, well, I don't want to leave my friends. Wow. Luke is big boned. I'm big boned. You really are. Especially your skull, I guess, apparently. Well, I ran into thick. a brick wall in second grade and didn't get a concussion. I did black nice. out, though. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up and I was laying on the ground. Really? Yeah. How, How did I not know about this? Weird? I don't know. Do you, remember, you I guess you were, do you remember when I got hit in the not head very long. It, with a hockey stick? Yes. You remember that? People I got, got I hit in the eye. dangerous with hockey sticks in elementary, elementary school. Yeah. So they had all the padding on the ends of them. Yeah. Those things were weird. Every time, keep it below the waist, everybody, and there's that one kid. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. It was Baseball on his back with a hockey swing. stick. Mm. Jeez. Wow. The backswing. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. Ooh. Jeez. How did we get here? I, I got know. hit on the follow-through with the baseball bat. Not the backswing, the follow-through. Yeah. Which that is probably actually also worse because it had Cause time to it build already had the momentum. momentum. Yeah. Probably, it probably hurt more than Mike Trout hurts when he takes a bath. Exactly. That totally made sense. Well, this is all sports all the time. I would say also over the years, we've gone farther and farther away from the title all sports all the time. Mm-hmm. It's become more and more ironic. Yeah. But we've had better episodes, so yeah. I guess it, there, it works. Makes sense. Ironic Iron Man, who cares? Exactly. Ironic Man. <laughs> That's a terrible Marvel character. <laughs> Speaking of terrible Marvel characters, my bottom no five such thing. Marvel characters is coming up. But first, the headlines this week, the NFL schedule dropped, which is always exciting. Get to find out who your team's playing yes. and when they're playing, what the primetime games are and whatnot. I made sure this year I took off work for the Monday night and Thursday. Well, I, do, I don't think we had any Smart. Thursday night games. I don't think the Eagles have any Thursday they're night games. They're not very we had, good. We had two not Monday many nights. Primetimes. We had two Monday nights and yeah. one Sunday night. I think. Do we have a Sunday? No, we don't have a Sunday. We had a Sunday at eight twenty. That's what. There was the shocker that was like the Eagles have played the Cowboys on Sunday Night Football for the last like decade or something, and they're not on Sunday. The Eagles aren't playing the Cowboys on Sunday night this year, which is crazy. Maybe we didn't have any any. Uh, Does that show like the primetime matchups? We have an eight fifteen. Or is that? Yeah, I think that one is Monday night. Yeah. Anyway, I took off work for all the Monday night games except. For when we play the Buccaneers, because I don't want to waste a day off to watch us get clapped. No so. worries about that one. Yeah. I didn't really want to. I didn't really want to waste a day off to watch us get clapped. Yeah. No. Uh, so. But yeah, the NFL schedule is. That was my dad's birthday gift. Great. The game's the twenty seventh. My dad's birthday is the twenty fifth uh-huh. of September. That is your dad's birthday gift. <laughs> so his birthday gift is birthday gift is to watch the Eagles get That's it. absolutely yeah. destroyed by the Buccaneers. You're welcome, Dad. Well, Thanks. imagine if they win though. If they win, what a birthday that is a gift. great gift. As you there can see, is. we got our, our MVP Oh, we didn't even shirts. mention that. Oh, my, my gosh. Check, check YouTube. These we've all got are our... actually, like, legit comfortable. They're nice. They're yeah, nice. they're, they're really nice. nice. Kudos to Parker. He picked the uh, the type of material we yes. would use. Yeah, Kudos these... to Owen on the design. Thank you. If you want to order these, just let us DM know. DM us. Um, yeah. We can hook you up. We can hook you up. Yeah. Uh, $25 you up. a shirt, I believe, is the uh, the price. The price, I believe. On them, yeah. so... At lunch, Parker and I were discussing. I had the hot take. We were talking about the NFL schedule. And I had the cold take. Parker and I have a lot and of I had good, the warm take. Parker and I have a lot of good the Papa lunch and the time three wolves. Com- or whatever, like what? you know, where she eats the porridge. Huh? Oh, Goldilocks and the three bears. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or Papa and the three wolves, <laughs> as it is also known as clearly. Um, we could probably have a podcast. This is an idea for the future. If we like ever branch out and we're making like multiple episodes, we could do a podcast episode of just like me and Parker's lunchtime conversations. Remind me not they to get be kind here of for weird. that episode. I don't really want to be here. <laughs> it gets it gets interesting. It's not bad. It, we probably talk about sports more at lunch than we do here. Yeah, but true. We were talking about the NFL schedule. I had a hot take that we'll get more into when we do like our NFL predictions for the season and the standings and stuff. NFL preview. But I think that the Rams are going to be so good this year. They have a top five defense and a potentially top five offense with the addition of Matthew Stafford. I think Matthew Stafford is super underrated because he was stuck in Detroit his whole career. And then Parker said... Um... Parker said... (laughs) uh, Matthew Stafford is about the same same, uh, skill level as Jared Goff. 
I believe that, and I firmly uh, believe that. I'm, Thoughts, Luke? I'm going to not side with either of you. I'm going to well, take okay. a middle ground almost. Like, I agree with Parker, and I agree with Owen that the Rams could be good this year. I it, I don't think they're going to be as good as he's putting out I'm there. I'm thinking NFC Championship game good. No. I don't think they're going to be that good, no. But I also agree with Parker in the sense that Matthew Stafford is pretty much, in my mind, a glorified Jared Goff. He's, oh, yes. he's better, he's underrated. He's better, yeah, he's he's underrated. better than Jared Goff, but not by a lot. Like, Matthew Stafford's underrated. He's better than Jared Goff, don't get me wrong, but he's not better by a ton to make the Rams a ton better. Goff is a system quarterback. McVay, say McVay elevates quarterbacks by like 15%. No. Let's say, Goff is going to be so bad without McVay helping him. I mean, but his name Goff is going to be bad, but Matthew Goff Stafford is goal. good, but not he's not like he's not good enough to get the Rams to the NFC Championship. Yeah, wow. the staff that they have around Stafford is just nice. <laughs> that was good. I mean, he good. literally drives a okay. Ford. You can't right. trust him. <laughs> 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 You're on fire today, man. It's you picked the perfect time to be on a roll for episode 100. Um, we're gonna ride the hot hand here. Parker's feeling it, so um, I'll just step back and let you. We're playing a. If this podcast were like we're playing a basketball game, Parker's last two jokes, he just hit two threes. Yeah. True. So we're just gonna keep feeding him. Let's give him a heat check. Parker, here. your goal by the end of this podcast episode is to hit a four. I have a math. <laughs> I have a. I, I have a math hue of confidence. Just. Coming off me right now. Oh, I get it. Like Tyron Matthew. No, no, no like Hugh of confidence. Hugh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like you said, Matthew. Yeah, Matthew Stafford. Oh, no. <laughs> or that. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> that one, he made the three, but it was it like hit the rim a couple yeah. of times and then he went banked in. it instead of yeah. Yeah. swish. Yeah. It so let's let's give you a heat check here. We're all just gonna step mm-hmm. back, pass you the ball, and let you go ISO. Yes. Thoughts on Lamelo Ball? Oh man, where do I start? Lamelo is not. LeBron. Let me just put that out there. They do start with La, but LaMelo should just la la lollipop his way la, to no nowhere. <clears throat> he is hyped up so much by the media. And when I mean hyped up, I mean they sh- they literally show a picture of him with his wrist and he's going And, and he's like hurting his wrist because his wrist hurts, right? And he's crying. He's going crying to his 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 dad, not LeBron. LeBron is almost everybody's dad. He's not Lavar. He's crying to Lavar. All like, these loves. Oh, Lavar, Lavar, help me! Oh man, but his big baller brand isn't gonna help him anymore. He is terrible. The media hypes him up way too much. He's not good. Anthony Edwards is way better. Lamelo is worse than an ant. Take that. Just, what? Just, just, that seemed unnecessary. Just just think about that. Parker's probably uh, got a better breakdown, but I'm going to agree with him. LaMelo is overhyped. LaMelo is good, I think. Like, he was a good pick by the Hornets, but, yeah, the media has not really mm-hmm. accurately depicted it's just how good he's he a ball is. Brother. Yeah. It, I mean, that's, that's, but like, like just Lonzo because their last get... name is Ball and they're playing basketball, it doesn't mean you have yeah. to. But did Lonzo get this much attention when he was a rookie? And he was in LA. Lamelo's in Charlotte. Yeah. No one cares about the Charlotte Hornets. It's like, because what he is in Charlotte? Charlotte? That's like a pig it's that died. It's because he was an Aussie. That's yeah, not. Mate. No. Charlotte was not the pig in Charlotte's Web. Oh no, that was a spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlotte. Man. All right, Luke in the basketball game just got Isn't a post a up and then chucked the layup over the backboard. Oh, uh, show so, the clip. Roll the clip. <laughs> so we're going to go to him what now. Clip? The cl- Luke, <laughs> the clip of you guys playing each other and you shooting it over the backboard. Yeah. We're, so we're going to throw it right back to Luke. We're going to give him a chance at redemption. All of your thoughts on Hawaiian pizza. Oh, Luke. man. That just This came smacks. up before we started recording when Parker's car was still running, but we didn't know it. <laughs> So we're Hawaiian pizza came up and Luke almost lost his mind. Why? What? What's the deal with Hawaiian I pizza? Mean, it's it's, just, it's pretty good. I but like love pineapple. It, it has less of, to do with the fact that it's pizza and more the fact that I just love pineapple. Mm. Grilled pineapple is one of my favorite things to eat. It's just oh, wow, so amazing. It makes my <laughs> mouth water. Seem to agree with that just statement. thinking about it, wow. I love just. Fresh pineapple. I agree with you on or that. Or pineapple or on top of a pina colada. Ooh. I like cold pineapple, but if warm you like pineapple. If you pina coladas. I do. Like grilled pineapple would be warm, right? I don't know how I feel rain. about that. That's nope. not. If you're not into yoga. 
You already did your singing. If you have half a brain... I thought he was tired of singing, right, but yes. he just can't be worn down. Anyway, pineapple stamina. is literally one of my favorite foods to eat ever. Wow. I just love pineapple so much in any way, shape, or form. And having it on pizza alongside bacon, which is one of my favorite pizza toppings, mm. just makes it... Or ham. Yeah, nor I was going to say normally. I think it's, it's ham. But I've, had it, I've had it with ham up. and bacon. Ooh, so good. Whoa. Tomato... Bread and pineapple smushed together. That's kind of basically just it's delicious. Wait, you don't have the cheese. But cheese, and delicious. Then you have the pizza. Yeah, okay. Not I delicious. No, very <laughs> opposite delicious. of delicious. I knew that Luke would it have. It just doesn't work. I love pineapple. No, I knew Luke would have strong opinions on this because when pineapple pizza came up, he had. There are two times I've seen Luke have like a full body reaction to something <laughs> being said. The first time was. Fox Meadows being brought up. <laughs> the second time was best pineapple ice cream. pizza. Oh, WJL ranked or the ranked the like top ten best uh, ice cream places in PA, or that? in Lancaster, uh -huh. I think. Yeah, or maybe it was PA. I don't even remember. Well, Fox Meadows, but the Fox Me they ranked yeah. Fox Meadow number one, and it deserves to be there. I've only been there once, and it was good. So. Good. What is an good? understatement? It was good? really what is good. An understatement? Are you kidding me? What is your problem? <laughs> Just okay is not okay. <laughs> God can save me. 25, 50. Duh, you it. Come on. He threw it over the backboard again. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Man. <laughs> wow. Just okay is not okay. <laughs> All right. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Bing. You got that one. Name all of the insurance taglines you can. Lemu, emu, and Doug. <laughs> that's not a tag. Yeah. Okay. Lemu, emu. I think I think that's uh, that's Liberty, right? They're liberty, liberty, yeah, liberty, that's liberty, it. Liberty. <laughs> the do worst do do tagline do 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 ever. Do they just repeat the word the same time. It's so bad. I mean, they're literally. Oh, isn't, isn't that a college? Farmers they is the ripped best. Off a liberty college. is. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum. I think we are farmers. farmers. Yeah, Boom, ba -dum, that one's so simple. We are farmers. State Gets the farm, point across. Eat fresh. Yep, that one. Mm. <laughs> um, what's the other one? Uh, All state. Progressive. Are you in good hands? Yeah. Progressive. Uh, the white lady. Uh, Flo. Flo. <laughs> Do they have it? And Jamie. I don't Jamie. think they have a tagline. They just. Flo. Flo. Uh. Um, flow with Jamie. To you can it. wash your dishes and get 50% off. Isn't that what theirs is? Like, what? They're always in white aprons. I don't get Yeah, it. that's yeah. true. Are they chefs? They are. Chef Curry, baby. Uh, <laughs> all right. The much anticipated bottom five Marvel let's, let's preface this, characters. Right? Let's preface this segment. Who wants to hear a story? What are you doing? Uh, story time. Okay. <laughs> English class on Thursday, right? There's this kid in my class who, I mean, I'm talking... Nerdy as ever, geeky as ever. <laughs> Better hope they're not listening to this. Yeah, probably not. Um, That's mean. Luke's mean. It's anyway, not necessarily, as it, we're just... it's not. I'm not saying it in a mean way. I'm Luke's just saying it in a straight. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's true. And they're really smart, and I'm kind of okay. jealous of it. But like at the same time, they're not very sport oriented. We'll say that. Okay. And so he tries to... I don't actually know his name. I'm Where is this story honest. going? I don't... I honestly do not know his name. I've not talked to him once. Okay. He tries to shoot a paper into a trash can, right? Mm -hmm. He misses by about 10 feet to the right. And when he shoots it, he yells, Stephen Kobe! <laughs> I kid you not! I, I'm sitting next to... Uh, I'm sitting next to someone, and I look Stephen at him. Stephen Kobe! And I just... I look at him... And I think I fell out of my seat in agony <laughs> Okay, of what I just heard. I mean, it does, it's a reasonable mistake because Curry and Kobe sound kind of the same, I guess. But, oh my. Why well, also, no one refers to him as Stefan. No one else has ever, like, if somebody was talking about the basketball player and he heard just, like, Stefan Kobe, like, I can understand that. But nobody yet, he's never heard anyone else yell <laughs> Stefan Kobe when they're shooting. So why would he... Wow, oh, that was great, actually. I like that story. Okay, what? so now on to Owen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was so strange. Transition. Transition. My. So last week, uh, Parker, unfortunately, was not here with us. I got it for you. Uh, you can't see them yet. This, is, uh, this has to be a reveal for you guys. Fine. Parker and Luke came up with their top 20 Marvel characters. Uh, Luke oh, being broke mean. them down, so I am retaliating with my bottom five. I actually did research. This isn't going to be like... A little. I like, did research too. Neat. I watched twenty three movies and yeah. a lot of new okay. rock stars. That is that is a solid. I've spent a the, solid five hundred hours. I'm, I think I'm almost. I think, what? 
I've I'm, spent, I'm halfway to my 10th I've spent years. nine years of my life devoted to Marvel. Wait, you did 500? You're halfway to 1,000, not 10,000. I saw my. I'm not gonna be so close. I saw my. I'm not gonna become a pro Marvel. I saw my first Marvel so movie at the age of seven, and I've devoted nine years of my life to Marvel. Marvel's is one true love in life. It is. And I nine believe that was said almost a year ago. My Marvel, <laughs> my Marvel anniversary <laughs> will take place next year. Don't. Marvel. My, my ten year Marvel versary will <laughs> take place Lord. next year. We have wow. to celebrate that. Uh, whatever That's month. Marvel I think Iron Man. I think Iron Man three. Marvel is. <laughs> oh yeah, Marvel. That's what I meant. <laughs> All right. While Luke's looking that up, I had I actually did research on this. These are mostly, I believe, three of them are comic book characters. Mm, Two of them nope, are in movies. Nope. Ten year will be in twenty twenty three because ah. it was May third, twenty thirteen. Okay. So did you see the premiere? We'll get there eventually. What? But like, did you like, see? Did it you see it when it came? Yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When wow. it came out in theaters. All right. So my bottom five. I believe you guys will know two of them. That are in the movies, and I don't think you'll know the comic ones because they're obscure because they're terrible. Parker, so, I don't think we should look. I think we should just. Okay. I think we should just let oh, him. All right. Oh, okay. You don't want to. You can't see all of the list. Oh, ah, no. you can see most of it. Okay. Actually. Oh, you. What? What is this? I wrote. I told you. Jeez, you did a lot I of did research. research. <laughs> there are. There are. Okay. I don't know. In depth. Uh, like, I don't know. What's the word? Profiles. I did profiles on these people. I went to Marvel's are website. These, are these like I was, five, four, three, two, one? One being the worst. One is the worst Marvel character of all time. So we begin with number five, three D Man. <laughs> now you I may be thinking, I don't either. Three D Man doesn't sound like a terrible name. I'm a three D Man. Technically, yeah, we're all three D people. So what could go wrong? Well, backstory. <laughs> yeah. In the 1950s, Chuck was abducted by Skrull aliens, but blew Ooh, up Skrull. their oh, ships. I know who they are. Yeah. But blew up their ship while escaping. This is all very condensed, so I didn't want to waste your time with how terrible these are. But okay. the radiation from the explosion caused him to disintegrate. <laughs> Luckily, he was visible in his brother Hal's glasses. Totally makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a great start with 3D. I man. Disintegrated. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yep. And then, quote, I'm quoting this from the website. Through concentration, how could conjure 3D man, whose body was Chuck's, but combined the minds of the two brothers? Makes, again, <laughs> complete sense. Wow. He was able to conjure him. That's so impressive. Through concentration, and then 3D man appeared. Chuck was only alive when 3D Man was conjured, so Hal did what any great brother would do and married Chuck's old girlfriend and started a family. <laughs> that was also not made up. That's a real thing. 3D Man basically just defended the Earth against the aliens attacking it, pretty much. His powers are really just enhanced everything. Like, he doesn't even have a power. It's just he's really strong, really fast, has enhanced senses. Like, it's not... So, basically, it's very strange. Captain America that... Fights aliens and is and not only real. appears when his brother <laughs> conjures him. Yeah, Captain America uh, doesn't have a brother. It's weird. That sounds like. Have you guys seen the Umbrella Academy? I've heard of it. I've heard that. I've that's seen also weird. Bits and pieces. Okay, you wouldn't really get the reference. Into... Okay. Yeah, probably not. But it, it is like something in there. All right, number four, the fourth worst Marvel character of all time. Hindsight Lad. <laughs> that name. Though. First of all, his name is Lad, so you know he's not going to be good. Also, his name is Carlton Lafroig. So. Carlton. That's not. Name. Carlton isn't bad. Carlton Lafroig. Sounds British. Sounds British. Yeah. LeBron. Lafroig. Lamello. <laughs> so many laws. LaVar. Carlton Lafroig desperately wanted to join the New Warriors, like his friends, which is apparently like a superhero group yeah. of the New Warriors. There's a guys. lot of okay. this. Yeah. 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 Carlton did not possess any superpowers, however, but he was so desperate that he made himself a costume and just called himself Hindsight Lad. <laughs> In order to get in, he claimed that he had the ability to discern tactical strategy after the fact. <laughs> Superpower. Wow. So basically, they would do something, and if it went wrong, he would have been like, ha, hindsight lad to the rescue, you should have done this. <laughs> <laughs> that was his superpower. All right, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That's bad. He was reluctantly allowed into the group, probably because they just felt bad for him, but was relegated to administrative work. In the New Warriors TV show, so the whoever made this comic strip was like, you know what, these New Warriors and Hindsight Lad, they're good enough we can make a TV show out of this. A website named DestroyAllWarriors.com revealed all the true identities of the heroes. Obviously, 
bad for them because secret identities and whatnot. Yeah. It had been created by a bitter Carlton Lafroig. <laughs> so I, all he really did was tell people what they did wrong afterwards and how they could have done it differently and called it a superpower and then ratted all of them out and gave away their like identities online. Wow. Hindsight like lad. A great guy. Fourth worst character. <laughs> Third worst Marvel character of all time, Leaper Logan, which sounds like a superhero a second grader would come up with. <laughs> Batroc the Leaper is the character in the MCU. That well, is. this one is Leaper Logan, okay, and he's this? only in comics. He's a petty thief who escaped prison using trampolines. Oh, he sounds awesome. That is That's like what I would sick. do. Oh, <laughs> don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. Leaper Logan used his bouncing suit that he made himself after he escaped to go on a crime spree in Springdale, Connecticut. Okay, because just say, that is the first place you go to yeah. go on a crime spree. If you go to Connecticut for anything, you're that's sad. Hey, yes. the Huskies. That's a cat. Oh, okay. He was defeated and arrested by the defender of Springdale, Speedball. <laughs> who is apparently his superhero nemesis who's just really fast. I see. Interesting. Uh, power is so leaping. It's terrible. Yay! It's terrible because Wait. his name. It's terrible because he literally just jumped really so, high. So, so he doesn't have leaping powers. He has a suit. So oh, it's like okay, Iron Man. Yeah. It's like Iron Man, where he doesn't yeah. have powers, but he uses his suit. He has to throw it on just and enough then, so that we can't see yeah. number one. It's also terrible because his storyline was so sad that it just ended. He got arrested and was in Connecticut jail. Wow. All right. The second worst. Marvel character. This is my favorite profile ever because there. Are, I'm gonna read this profile slowly so that you guys can really digest the ridiculousness. This one is false, by the way. Of this character's backstory, I do not believe in this it, one. This one is a terrible character. No, he's not. Second worst character in Marvel. Not true. Howard the Duck. Nope. Let me go, Luke. I got this. Okay. Just hold on. You, once you hear this, you will understand how insanely terrible this this storyline is. Somebody thought it was a good idea. To create a character that was a duck, but could talk and do every... Lived, basically, Howard the Duck lived a regular human life on a planet called Duck World. It's like what Disney else would World. You name it? What else would you name it? Yeah. Why like, is there a planet Howard? full of ducks that are exactly like people on Earth? Just ducks. Anyway, Howard was transported to the Florida Ever Everglades on Earth when the villain of this whole thing, Thog. And? It's like terrible Thor, villain but with name. a G. Yeah. Terrible name. Shifted the interdimensional cosmic axis. Uh -huh. Yeah. How is that? Okay. That doesn't... That makes no sense. How did you guys hear that and then just be like, yes, that sounds normal? There's like, a lot of stuff in Marvel explain probably to me. similar to that. Interdimensional... How, how is it a believable plot? Oh, I mean, none of it's believable. They're all the Devil's Venus. Funny. How is... Yeah. What? <laughs> 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 that seems like a terrible inside joke we don't want to get into. Uh, Thor, 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 Thor didn't want to go into it either. Okay. How... <laughs> Nor did Bruce Banner yeah. or Valkyrie. They, they were scared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant red hole in the sky. Uh, yes. <laughs> how does it... How does a story get you hooked when the basis of it is a shifting of the interdimensional cosmic axis? Gets me hooked. What? Probably had something to do with the creation of uh, Nowhere. Okay. Yeah, probably. It was in hopes of controlling all of the dimensions. Somehow, I don't know. Maybe okay. he was like a before his time Thanos. Thog and Thanos, they both wanted to control every. I don't know. After defeating Thog, I don't know how that happened. Apparently Howard the Duck from the Florida Everglades defeated Thog because Thog, when he was hoping to control all the dimensions, was like, you know where I'm going to be? The Everglades. Anyway. Howard accidentally fell off of the other dimensional stepping stones of oblivion. Oh, no. Whatever those are. Oh, no. Again, the words in this are ridiculous. <coughs> he fell off of the other dimensional stepping stones of oblivion and landed in Cleveland. <laughs> of course he landed in Cleveland. Because where else would you land when you fall off the other dimensional stepping stones of oblivion? <laughs> Howard came to public note. This is where he he's not even a superhero, obviously. Mm -hmm. He's just a character at this point. Howard came to public notoriety in the comics mm -hmm. when he ran for president of the United States on a minor party ticket. Good Unfortunately, friend. his candidacy was dismissed by the general public because they believed he was just a small person in a duck costume. <laughs> 
<laughs> they ran out of ideas and were just like, you know what? We're going to keep this character. Let's just have him run for president. <laughs> this is why yeah. comics are fun. You can just do whatever yeah, you exactly. want. And then there's no ending. He just unfortunately never returned to his home planet of Duckworld, which is really tragic, honestly. That is tragic. It's, it's very sad. he ended up in the collector shop in a cage. Yeah. Such a should weird... I, should we guess number one? A terrible. No, I think we should just I, let it happen. Wait, I want to I wanna guess. Okay, wait, you guess? get one guess. I get one guess. I'm going to say Kool-Aid Man. That's my guess. That's my guess. I did not find Kool-Aid Man in my research. Oh, Didn't know that okay, was a Marvel right. character. Yep, that's a Marvel character, Kool-Aid Man. That would have been up there. Sadly. Jeez, that's terrible. <laughs> He's an embarrassment, but... All right. The worst Marvel character of all time, according to Owen Lapp, after doing extensive research, is... Doctor Strange! No! Right. No! No! <laughs> Parker, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Parker, they didn't even leave. let me explain! Nope, Parker, we gotta leave. Parker, let's go. There's an explanation! Parker, hear me out! Parker, we're leaving. Come on. Just hear me out. Alright, I'm gonna tell you guys the audience I'll drive you home. Well, we're why it's Doctor home. Strange. Doctor Strange is the God, worst Marvel character of all time. Let me break it down for you. Doctor Strange himself is a great superhero, but Doctor Strange, the character, is not a good character. No. There's Doctor a difference Strange here between is literally a superhero one of my favorite Marvel character. and the character. He, his powers are so incredibly cool. Which is exactly why he's the worst character, because he has all these cool powers and abilities, and he could basically just single-handedly like, defeat all of the villains himself in these movies if he wanted to. But no, he does not... Doctor Strange is the number one prospect that has all this ability that fizzles out Oh, and have you watched Avengers Infinity War? He can't... Have you watched that movie? I, yes. Then, does this not remind you of anything? Yeah. It was, like, uh -huh. a lot of things, a yeah. lot of possibilities. Uh-huh. And one yes. worked. There yeah. is... He is obvious... He is so intelligent. He's able to use his magic so intelligently... He yeah, he no. could have he could have destroyed everyone probably I bet that was probably like half the realities uh -huh. but would they have won would they have beat it beat it beat was that Thanos? the one was that the one the, no 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 it exactly no, That's I'm why just saying he didn't destroy I'm everybody. saying there were many opportunities before they got to that point and in just generally with he, all of his abilities you, the little amounts that he does do you see to help did you is see ridiculous his battle versus Thanos him versus Thanos and how Thanos he, destroyed yeah, him yeah. So you call, you saw that Thanos, he couldn't beat Thanos when Thanos mm -hmm. had the stones. Yeah. yeah. Well, he could have stopped Thanos from getting, like, there, okay. There were a lot of things. That, he can't fly. Doctor he can't Strange's, go to other dimensions. Doctor Strange's abilities like, are, I'm not saying he's a bad superhero. I'm saying his abilities are so good, and his lack of use of his repertoire makes him way less valuable than he could be. I, I think, Worst Marvel I think character. You're, I think you're, I think you're thinking... Not you're inside the box. Doctor Strange is arguably my in my mind one of the most intelligent characters in Marvel. I didn't say he wasn't. And not as not not in the sense of Tony Stark. Tony Snark. Uh, Snark. Tony Snark. <laughs> Tony Stark is a really smart guy, just yeah. in the sense that he's smart, like book smart. Mm -hmm. Doctor Strange is just generally extremely he's wise. intelligent. Did he's you, very wise. Did you watch Doctor he is Strange? Able to see, did you no. see his come up movie? Nope. Exactly. You need to watch that. You I'm going into that. this with not that much. He is, Doctor Strange is the pitcher who has a great fastball, cutter, changeup, curveball, and he, like, throws the curveball and the changeup. I would say Doctor Strange is more the person that um, has a terrible injury. Like, the guy who, um, there was a guy who plays baseball who um, had a suicide attempt and his eye got, mm -hmm. his eye got hurt. Yeah. Doctor Strange is the guy that um, works so hard to get out of that. That um and like and ends up succeeding and being like amazing. Mm -hmm. You're like, you're overlooking. Doctor Strange isn't meant to be that all powerful character. That's I'm saying he could be, everything. but that's not his. But he's that's not. not his role. Which is then if if that was his role, a failure then, by him. No, no, it's not that he cho chooses. He chooses not to do that, and that's mm -hmm. on purpose. His role is not meant to be that all powerful character. He's meant to kind. Of, he's almost in my eyes like a dad. <laughs> like right I now. think where you're helping going. I want to just cut it there. <laughs> oh.
All right, bottom five Marvel characters. Doctor Strange is a dad. Notice, notice that you had no supporting yeah, yeah. evidence. Look at this. He's got an entire paragraph for a reason why Howard the Duck actually probably isn't as great of a character as me and Parker were thinking. I'm but glad I got you guys on that one. That's look, a win. Look at this. That's a win. What, they can't see nothing. nothing. I didn't nothing write there. anything because nothing needs to be written. There no, we go. Exactly. Nothing can be written. The yeah. five worst Marvel characters. Falso. Of all time. Falso. <gasps> Marvel Marathon. I no. That's something I do want to do. We no, watch no, all no, of them. No, 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 no. Yeah, I've I've actually wanted to do that all for a of while. Them straight. You guys are insane. I've wanted to do that for we a got, while. Luke, I don't pass. Have time. This summer. Well, I gotta take off sometimes. for like four days. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. And just Marvel four movies. days. Oh, maybe, yeah. maybe when we're maybe we can make it a vacation. We go, we go to, we go to Florida. Why, why are we spending money to go to Florida when we can just do it up in your bonus room? Yeah. True, but we need to act like it's a vacation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What? Anyway, that okay. is an go, go awful idea. You know what's not an awful idea? Calling JG Graybill to either fix your plumbing or install new plumbing systems for you. JG Graybill is a small family owned and operated company. I noticed looking back, you like to say small. I don't think they're that. JG Graybill is a ginormous I think plumbing they're... company dedicated to yeah. doing whatever. They are family you owned want. and operated, though. They are family owned and operated. Um, their initials are J and G. Um, for J.G. Graybill. Graybill. They're awesome because they will do whatever you want uh, plumbing related. They will fix your pipes, hydronic heating, um, break your pipes. No, and, no. <laughs> and then fix them again. They'll install new pipes. They'll install new pipes. They'll install water new, your plants probably if you ask them. Mm. Um, if you're, that, is your hose considered part of your plumbing? They might, they might fix your, your water, tire. Your water system is part of plumbing, right? Yeah. So that could, that could water affect breaks, watering your plants. Your sink. If your water breaks, you should go to the hospital. <laughs> no, you should, to right. <laughs> <laughs> you should go to J.G. Alright. You should go to J.G. Cable. That was good. That was good. Um, anyway. Jumper. 717-768-3276. You may be wondering, why did I just say random numbers? Well, that's J.G. Grable's phone number. 717-768-3276. Mm. And www.jggrable.com. Now, you may be wondering, why did I just say a, a website link? Well, that's J.G. Graybill's website, and you can visit it, and you can pay there and buy stuff from them because they're awesome. Um, anything that you buy will get a 10% kickback from, so it's super nice. What, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> well, if you mention all sports all the time after you pay J.G. Graybill for you'll their get, services. You'll get $25 off. And what can you buy with that $25, Luke? You can buy some snacks to do a Marvel Marathon. Oh, my word. Or you can buy this giant water bottle. Or you can buy an MVP shirt. It's yeah, a, whoa! That worked yes, out so MVP, nicely. $25. $25 MVP shirt. Well, that's perfect. You guys, you know, we couldn't, we wouldn't have made it here without you guys. You guys are the real MVPs. Thank you for listening to us talk. Episode 100. For almost episodes. two years. Yeah. We will see you guys in four, well, we'll record. Woo! Bye. Hopefully our voices don't run out of noise.